and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today I've got an awesome video for all of you. Today we're going to be having a look at my brand new vehicle that I have just bought. Now that is my old vehicle, that is my current vehicle, that is my daily driver at the moment. You may have seen this on the channel before. If you haven't then I've made loads of videos on it. It's an absolutely brilliant little car. Uh, but today we're going to be checking out my brand new vehicle. But that is my old car, let's go ahead and move that and get my new vehicle so I can reveal it all to you. And here it is! This is my brand new vehicle, well, actually it's second hand. Uh, it's a 2001 R50 Mini 1. And don't be fooled by the Cooper S grill or the Cooper S badge. It's absolutely nonsense. It's not a Cooper S, however, I tried to make it look like a Cooper S. So but those of you who know me very well know that I'm a bit of a car guy, so I couldn't just have any old vehicle. Since I have a classic Mini, I wanted to get something that felt familiar, so I decided to get a new Mini. I mean, why not? I have an old Mini, why not get a new Mini? So, I've got a brand new Mini. It's absolutely awesome. Well, let me show you around the vehicle. Okay, so on the front, as you can see, we have the Cooper S grille out there. Um, I put that new on the vehicle, the one it had on standard was very ugly and I really just didn't like that grille, uh, it looked very granny-esque and very old looking and just didn't really suit my personal preference of the vehicle. So I decided to get a Cooper S grille, it fits absolutely perfect, fitted it on myself and that's absolutely splendid. Then we have the wheels around the side. I've got some R58 um, mini wheels on there. They're actually Cooper S wheels and I put the Cooper S centers in them as you can see there. Um, they're absolutely awesome vehicles. They've also got snow tires on which are brand new. Um, I bought those with the snow tires on so I figured that would be good for running it in winter. It came with the tyres on, so I decided to just leave them on there, there's no reason to change them. Then, one of the more obvious things on the vehicle we have is the spoiler on the back. Now, this is actually from a Cooper S. Uh, it's a Cooper S spoiler designed for this specific Mini. And you can see it fits perfectly around the back brake light there. And it's also carbon fibre, which means it's nice and light. And it looks absolutely awesome as well. Uh, then moving on to the back of the vehicle, we have the Cooper S badge. And I've got Cooper S badging all around the vehicle. You saw it on the front grille. I've got it on the tyres. I've got it here at the back as well. And I also have these side vents that have the little Cooper S logo on. I bought those for the vehicle because standard it just has some horrible looking black plastic ones. These are nice chrome ones with the Cooper S logo so I figured they would be absolutely super. Then we move on to the interior and one of the more noticeable things is the brand new seats I've got in it. Now obviously the vehicle on the outside is blue so I figured to match that we'd put the blue seats on the interior. Now, so that's another thing, the vehicle in case you're wondering is indie blue. Um, I really like that colour, it looks really nice and we decided to put a little bit of the colour back in on the interior and we've also got it on the door panels, my dad painted these for me. I just got a tin of indie blue paint and we sprayed them up ourselves but I think they look absolutely awesome. And then I've also got these brand new floor mats down here, as standard it just has some horrible cloth um, floor mats and they just don't really look that great, they absorb all the water that you trail in the car, um, they're really hard to clean so I decided to get these rubber mats, they're fantastic to clean, I've got these in my old Mini as well, I bought them from the same website that I got them for my old Mini. Um, they're absolutely super so I figured why not put them in the new Mini as well and I got this little bit of blue stitching around the outside just to tie in with the rest of the vehicle. And the final thing which I actually only put on about five days ago with my dad is the Cooper S uh, stickers on either side. There's a Go Faster Stripe with the Cooper S sticker there. It looks absolutely fantastic. It really brings the car out. It ties all the Cooper S 
nets together and it adds a lot of value to the car. Obviously it's not a Cooper S but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So that is going to be it for a brief look at the Mini. There's not a whole lot more I can show you. I've done a lot of work to the vehicle trying to get it sorted. It has now passed its MOT. It is taxed as well. Next week when I've got my no claims I will be insuring the vehicle and we can take it for a drive. I've got a few things that I want to do to the Mini. Uh, obviously one of them is to put a much better exhaust on the vehicle because the stock exhaust is absolutely horrible looking. It's just got a simple stainless steel exhaust on there and it really doesn't look very good. It doesn't sound great either. It sounds very stock. <laughs> that so if you're new to the channel and you have enjoyed taking a look at my brand new mini right here then please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new but that is going to be it for today guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video